Good morning, friends. It's the second week of Advent. I hope you're doing well. Wherever you are, I hope that you're settled. I hope that you've left your busy morning either behind you or you've set it aside so that you can be present for the next few minutes with me in chapel. I'm glad you're here. Please stand. O God, let my soul rise up to meet you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. You may be seated for a reading from Scripture. Sometimes, radical generosity and radical goodness and radical caring for other people feels like a miracle. This is the week that we remember Nicholas. He was a bishop in what is now called Turkey, the country, not the bird. Years and years and years and years ago, His village was fairly poor, the one that he served as a priest and then a bishop, but he was not. He was a rich man. And the story I tell you every year is that, you know, one of the many legends about his radical generosity was that he had, he was keeping his eye on this family. It was a dad and his three or four girls, and they didn't have a lot of money. So they would hang their wet socks on the mantle to dry in front of the fire, their wet socks from being out in the snow all day. And they would go to bed early, and Nicholas would creep over and just throw coins into the window. And they always seemed to land underneath those stockings that were hung with such care. And they would wake up in the next morning, and my gosh, it felt like a miracle like coins had come down the chimney, blessing them, not with extra, but with enough. Enough to eat. Enough to, I don't know, maybe get a new pair of socks. It felt like a miracle to that family, but in reality, you guys, it was just human graciousness, human generosity. Oftentimes, saints, well, they're just regular people who do extraordinary things. And sometimes we chalk up those extraordinary things to being, by golly, miracles when something is made out of nothing. Coins magically appear. But really... There was no magic. It was just a a man, a good man, who gave what he had because he was okay. And he saw people who were not. So, in this season of giving, my friends, I want you to remember Nicholas. And as you have your hearts and your eyes wide open, as you're looking for those signs that we are always looking for during Advent, those signs that point us to the birth of Jesus. Also keep your eyes open in the world for places that might need a little bit of extra care, a little bit of extra joy, a little bit of extra generosity. And open your heart. What can you give? Where in this world can you Pump a little more joy, a little more grace, a little more generosity. To you, it might just feel like a human instinct, but to the people receiving your joy and hope and generosity, well, it could be a miracle. Thanks be to God. Stand and join me in praying the prayer that Jesus taught his friends, our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. O God of joy and cheer, we thank you for your servant, the good Bishop Nicholas. In loving the poor, he showed us your kindness. In caring for children, he revealed your love. Make us thoughtful without need for reward, so that we too may show your love to the whole world. In your name we pray. Amen. Friends, life is short, and we don't have much time to gladden the hearts of those who travel with us on this journey. So, as you leave chapel today, and you go about your day, make haste to be kind, be quick to love, and may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and between you now and forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.